I love these passages uh, of the gospel because uh, you know the story of Moses. Uh, Moses led the Israelites for 40 years, and uh, twice they came to the promised land. People miss that, but twice. They only know only one time they came, they said, no, that's not true. They reached the promised land twice. First, they could not enter. So if you didn't know, I would tell them, go back to read the Holy Bible again, because you will find they came twice. The second time when they come, Moses could not enter the promised land. Because uh, God said, because he had committed sin, even that sin of Moses still doubt. We the people have debate. We don't know when, when he committed sin. But if because of that sin he committed, he directly disobeyed God, that he could not enter into promised land. And he dies. But he could see it from the top of the mountain, and he dies. And uh, and that is where you know you see the the Lucifer comes in, and the prayer of Saint Michael comes there. May God rebuke him. That comes from that at that time of that prayer. That wording comes from the Jew, letter Jew. That comes in beautiful if you really know the story. That wording comes. So Moses dies in this mountain, and you know there is nobody around. And he stays. His body stays on that on the mountain. Can you imagine a man who led Israelites to the promised land, but he could not help them to help them to enter into that promised land? But because he was imperfect man, who's supposed to do that? Jesus. He is a perfect man, and that is why he could not do it. That every man tried in the Holy Gospel, in the Holy Gospel, the Holy Bible, but they could not finish the job. But who finished the job is Jesus. That's why we say that Jesus is the only Savior that can save us. Every human can try. Every man and woman can try, but they will fail, I think. And that's why it's, 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 it's hopeless to trust in humans. It says in Psalm 188, I think, just that it's just better to trust in God. Because we need to realize that that's what he says. You know, if you notice today, Moses is standing where? Close to? In the on the ground. <laughs> so see, he, he actually crossed. Finally, he is in the promised land. With whom? With Jesus. See, the people might fail in our life to be with Jesus. You know, but if you are with Jesus, you'll be able to stand in the promise. That's why he said, I come to promise you the dwelling place in heaven because with Jesus, we can go to heaven. That is for sure. There's no doubt in it. He promised, if you believe in my name, if you believe, and that's what the gospel says, the faith. The first reading says, faith is a realization of what is hoped for and evidence of not seen. See, these three apostles were able to see what is going to come. We never saw what is heaven looked like. We don't know how, how the apartment and the, how the kitchen looks like in heaven or the dining room, you know, or the living room or the TV room. I don't know how it looked like. But we believe there's a heaven with God is, and we are going to go there. And I told you, like, you need to be sure that you're going there. We will fail. This is for sure, because why? We are flesh and blood. But if you believe in Jesus, who's going to take you there? Jesus will take you there. That is the hope that we have. The faith is that he will say, faith comes from hearing, hearing the word of the Lord. And that's what a father says today in the gospel. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Faith comes from hearing, hearing the word of the Lord. Romans 10, 17. So, that when you hear the word of the Lord, our faith increases. But that faith has to produce as well. <clears throat> that one day I will be with Jesus. That's what he promised to the thief. What he said, the good thief. Today you will be with me in paradise. Remember me when you are in your kingdom. Jesus, remember me. And kingdom and you come into your kingdom and that is where the hope is one day we will be with Jesus <coughs> in the kingdom and that's the promise of God that's what we hope for let's ask Jesus today make, make increase our faith because our problem we have is we don't believe we don't really believe that's why apostles ask in Luke 17 5 increase our faith every day when we come to the Holy Eucharist let us ask increase our faith pray faith because when we come here we have prayers you know what these prayers means we ask our needs, but we're not supposed to do worship. 
<laughs> so we need to change a, a cat, people of Catholic of prayers. We need to change a Catholic of worshippers. God seeks people who worship in spirit and truth. Amen. Mm -hmm. <coughs>